Back at it here at Shamrock Fighting Championships 335. As coming up next, this is a kickboxing bout, a potential sleeper fight of the night here as Rachel Kearns takes on Nikki Kapernska. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the cage, Nikki Katspertska. I hope I didn't butcher that too bad as Nikki Kapertska makes her way to the cage. Now she comes to us by way of Poland. Now she sports a perfect record in the world of mixed martial arts, but she is making her kickboxing debut tonight. She told me this is all about staying busy. Staying busy is extremely important in the world of combat sports. Absolutely, it, it can go, you can go months and months sometimes in between MMA fights. And the only fights you can find are kickboxing. So you just wanna stay active, you wanna sharpen those skills. You take any fight that you can get. I've definitely been there in my career and I can understand why she's doing that tonight. How big of a difference? I mean, you're known as a ground guy, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but you've also done some kickboxing. Yeah, absolutely. I fought Marcus Cobb professional kickboxing yeah. here in Shamrock. So I can tell you, it, it makes all the world a difference whenever you can just get that ring time in, you can get that time on your feet, you can sharpen those skills. It's gonna translate over into the MMA career. And her opponent, Rachel Kearns. Sporting a perfect record of 1-0 and oh, coming into the Shamrock FC cage. It is the Taekwondo black belt, Rachel Kearns. Now she told me that something was new into this is she really became a trainer. She works at Finney's MMA where she trains constantly. She said that it was very strange to try to battle both being a trainer and being a fighter, as we go to our supplement superstores, tail of the tape, Rachel Kearns, 23 years old, five foot nine, 133.8 pounds. Nikki Kapertska, 28 years old, five foot five, 133.4 pounds. There's a lot when you're getting ready for a fight, but you're also teaching classes. Yeah, it's very hard to split that time. And in fact, we don't, you know, whenever you're looking at trainers who actually compete. You don't see a lot of them that are very successful because there is that time split. So it's going to be very interesting to see how she's able to handle that tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for three rounds in the Shamrock FC Bantamweight Kickboxing Division. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the Peppy Smokehouse Blue Corner. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighed in officially 135.4 pounds. Fighting out of Lodz, Poland, Nikki Katspelska. Across the cage, her opponent fighting tonight out of the first form red corner. She stands five feet, nine inches tall. Weighed in officially 133.8 pounds. Fighting out of St. Charles, Missouri, Rachel Kearns. Referee Mike Anglin has the call for this contest. This fight is three two minute rounds in the sport of kickboxing. You know, being an MMA fighter, I'd expect Nikki to come out real aggressive. She seems very patient here, though. Yeah. Both? Both of these girls, I mean, they have been around the sport a long time. Oh. Straight right hand found out. Four, nice oh. push kick. Gonna call that one a slip. She's, she's throwing with intent. Big Ooh. overhand right there right over out the of Nikki. Nikki is super composed right now. Yeah, you know, Rachel is the, the, the taller of the fighters. She has the reach. She, she, she wants to use that reach to stay on the outside, but she can't wait. If you, if you wait, you get caught slipping, and you're going to catch a big shot. Now, good movement by Nikki. She's yeah, fainting. Nikki in and has out. some great feints. I was going to say that. She's also doing a very good job of playing on the angle. So as she moves, she steps just out of Kern's reach. Yeah, she's doing a, a real great job with those feints. She's. When she wants to commit, she's coming in, she's attacking, and then she's out again. She's playing the angles. She's going high right there, body shot. That was really nice. She's very composed yeah. here. She's definitely being the aggressor here, which I don't think is something that Kern is used to. Yeah, you know, I think Rachel's, she's a little surprised by the in and out. Oh, huge shot Ooh, there. Big shots. 
Both of these girls, though, extremely talented and been very technical so far as we are down to 35 seconds remaining here in round one. Rachel still looks good. She still looks composed. She just needs to start, you know, putting together some offense. She can't wait. She keeps trying to play the, the defensive game and Yeah, reacting. she's almost trying to play the counter puncher role yes. here. She also has got to start checking that leg kick coming in. If you're not able to catch the timing on the count, if you're trying to counter fight, you're just going to end up eating a lot of shots, which is kind of what we're seeing right now. Good head movement. It, oh, oh, another big shot, though. Woo. Another, another huge left, then right there out of Nikki. Oh, Rachel threw a good hook there. Yeah. She's trying to throw some shots now as she's moving backwards. She just ate a whole lot more. If I'm her corner, I gotta tell her, you gotta be more active coming into this next round. You gotta move your head. You gotta start setting up some offense. You can't just Tonight's wait. fights are sponsored in part by yeah, Ryan Kelly, the home loan expert. She was eating a ton of shots in that one. Um, she had expert, some good answers, home but I don't no think it down. was enough to Seriously, get her the round. Online, yeah, I think that's probably a 10 zero round dollar right there. Down um, I think alone. Nikki just had the better of the zero exchanges. Dollar yeah, as we look here at our instant replay again, that We're also sponsored tonight by Supplement Superstore. If you start to chop that down, you start to take out the base of the stance. If you keep chopping that front leg and you take out round the base, two of this you don't have the power of the punch bout. anymore. Coming up Absolutely, next. all the power comes from your legs. You chop that leg down, you just lose a lot of your ability to throw hard shots. I gotta imagine if I'm in Nikki's corner, I'm telling them just more of the same. Second round of this three round contest. Make sure we get the door closed, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, all right. Back show respect, touch of the gloves there. Again, Nikki Kapertska in the blue shorts, Rachel Kearns in the red. Nikki staying on the outside, circling. Big body shot Big there body from that shot. kick. The other thing that we're seeing Nikki do is she is doing a great job of punches setting the kicks. Yes, now she did just switch to a southpaw stance there where she threw that body kick. Let's see if she does that again moving forward. There's a little, little bit of a tail there. Rachel trying to catch her on the, on the way in. She's throwing more shots here. Nikki just doing a real good job setting the pace with those feints. Yeah, the feint is what's important here. Whenever we say feint, we're basically getting them to fake the shot, drop their hands, move their head, uh, like we saw a la Jake Paul, Tyron Woodley. Absolutely, a feint is really, it's, it's overloading your ability to, to really read what's happening. You think something else is coming, you react, and then you eat a big shot because of it. Oh, nice leg kick there by Nikki. Rachel's really starting to work that jab. She wants to keep that jab in her face, keep using, she's the taller of the fighters, she wants to use her reach. So now, the thing that we've got to see out of Kearns here is she's, she's not being aggressive enough, in my opinion here, because she's, she's, not, she's playing linear. And when I say linear, she's fighting forwards or she's fighting backwards? It looks like she's having a, she just ate a really nice leg kick from, uh, from Nikki. It looks like Rachel's having a, a hard time putting weight on that left leg now. Oh. She, you see, she just switched. She did switch stance. She just switched to a southpaw stance. I don't know if that's going to slip there. She switched to a southpaw stance. I don't think she wants to eat any more shots there. 10 seconds remaining here in the second round. Nice exchange to finish out the round. But this is what I love about the sport of kickboxing when you have two very technically proficient strikers. It makes for an amazing fight and these girls look amazing doing it. I mean, it's so technical. Absolutely, this is not a brawl. Both of these ladies are out here trying to pick their shots. They're trying to be efficient with their movement. This is a very technical fight here. So if you are in the corner here of Nikki Kapertska, what advice are you giving her? Man, Nikki's looking really great. If I'm in her corner, I'm telling her more of the same. You know, just keep doing the feints. Uh, landing the big shots, maybe putting on more pressure. I, I'd imagine she's won the first two rounds. She doesn't need to do anything super crazy. That last round could have gone either way. You never know what the judges are going to see. So, you know, fight smart, but pour it on a little bit more. Third and final round about to get going here. Jeremy Johnson along tonight with Adam Meredith. 
Rachel needs to come out and be really aggressive this round. Yeah, Rachel needs a commanding win in this round. But again, you're right. She's looking oh. like she's having a hard time putting weight on that front leg. Hard time putting weight on that front leg. It's, you know, when you're, when you're constantly trying to play the counter fighter game, it's hard to set up your timing sometimes when you're constantly catching. Nikki coming forward there, going to the body. You know, the last fight that we saw Rachel Kearns in, she was using her kicks, and I'm afraid that that front leg has been neutralized enough that she can't. Yeah, you know, being a Taekwondo black belt, your kind of second nature is going to be your kicks, and when you take that weapon away, that's going to take away a lot of your offense. Oh, nice body kick there by Rachel. These ladies are going back and forth battling. Nikki's just, she's just, her timing is just a little bit better here. She's coming forward, she's controlling the pace. These feints have been the, the difference maker, absolutely. She's real light on her feet. Nice leg kick there. And then you see Rachel immediately switches to southpaw. Yeah, again, and, and it, the damage is what can be done. Those legs getting chopped can take so much out of you. You can't turn, you can't put the pressure on them anymore. It makes it so hard to do anything combo-wise. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. And, and one thing Nikki's doing really good is she's landing in the same spot. So she doesn't have to land hard. It's just the consistency over and over in the same spot really wears you down. I think Nikki can tell, ooh, nice. That was a nice angle there. 30 seconds Huge remaining in this fight. They're coming out of Nikki Kapertska. Oh, oh, Rachel is dazed in that I one think Nick, again. Nikki just needs to keep turning it on. Rachel's just surviving right here. She's having a hard time putting weight on that back leg. <laughs> 10 seconds remaining here. Who wants it more? Another big shot there. Nice jab, though, out of Rachel Kearns. This is a great fight by both these ladies. I think I got to give that one to Nikki, though. She seems to just, just be more, she's in more control throughout the entirety of the fight. She controlled the pace. She had good angles. Her feints, I think that was the big difference maker tonight. Absolutely. The feints are the story of this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, as we await the official fight. decision, I want to remind you that after the event tonight, we're having an official Shamrock FC 335 after party right downstairs at the Bottleneck Blues Bar. They're going to have live music and just show them your ticket from tonight's event and Let's you get take in a look absolutely here at free. Our Come hang out and have a drink with your favorite Shamrock round. FC fighters. Again, we also, see a little bit of a limp there. We're going to have an intermission Kearns. after the next fight. It's Make sure you hit shot. up the merchandise booth right out here by the bars. We have those limited the edition spot. Shamrock FC yeah, hoodies really. and yeah, zip-up jackets this one, though, for up sale. Up to the cage to Joe Parisi to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges after three rounds for an official decision. It is a unanimous decision with all three judges at cage side scoring this contest 30-27 in favor of your fighter out of the blue corner, Nikki Katzpenska. A huge win for Nikki Katzpenska. They're coming to us by way of Poland.